Do you treat everyone equally? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. I recently walked through the book of James with my youth group and we talked about today's topic. So I'm not sure if the Lord is trying to convict me here or if perhaps we're all struggling with the same thing. But today we're talking about favoritism. So join me for today's Devo Equal by Emily Acker. Equal, not just a term that's used in math. Let me see others as equal, God, the way you see them. Help me see the celebrity and know they are just another human. Help me see the poor and know they have a story. Equal. Let me look to those struggling in class. Let me see them as equal, God, and just as valued as the prodigies. Help me see the leaders at my school and know they are like the rest of us. Help me see the bullied and the bullies and know they have value too. Equal. Something that is hard to grasp. Let me see everyone is equal, God, not all perched on different levels. Help me see everyone is loved. Help me not judge those around me, even when I feel judged. Equal. It's how you see the world. Let me see as you see, God. Help me understand that you value all people the same. Help me treat others equally, since we are all made in your image. Wasn't that poem awesome? So let's chat about it a little bit more. All people are incredibly and equally valuable to God. We can know this is true because God made humans in His image and because Jesus, God in flesh, came to die for us on the cross and rise from the grave so that anyone who puts their trust in Him will be saved and become part of His kingdom. In what ways are you tempted to put people on different levels? Consider taking a moment to talk to God about these things. You can be totally honest with Him. He wants to help and forgive you, not condemn you. Every person we meet is someone God has made, someone Jesus was willing to die for. How might remembering the gospel help us see all people as equally loved and valuable? As you and I can read in Romans 2.11, For God does not show favoritism. Now I'd encourage you to read in your Bible if you want to dig a little bit deeper. Acts 10 verses 34 through 36, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 12 through 27, Galatians 3:28 and James chapter 2 verses 1 through 10. To keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries, and today's Devo was packed with awesome scripture. If you want more than I included here, go to Unlocked.org and check out today's written Devo, or download the Unlocked Devo app. Also, be sure to check back for tomorrow's devotional about sheep with Dylan. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life. Unlocked.